Welcome back, Star Citizens. Buzzkiller here, and today we're going to take another look at the Xion Scout. Now, yesterday, right after I posted my latest video, CIG released 2.3 to the Public Test Universe, or PTU. Now, in 2.3, there's a lot of fixes, a lot of changes, and uh, the major things, of course, are the Starfare, which is hangar ready and the Xion Scout here, which is flight ready. Now, I own a Starfarer Gemini, and unfortunately the Starfarer is not showing up in my hangar yet. They said they should have that fixed by Monday, so expect a video from me giving you a tour of that ship at that time. But for now, we're going to take the newly flyable Xion Scout here out for our test flight for our first impressions. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in free flight, and the first thing I noticed when I spawned in was my pilot was all messed up in the cockpit seat. His, he was looking down at his feet, and it wasn't quite right. So, I managed to fix it by landing and getting out and getting back into the cockpit. But here I am, I'm sitting on the landing pad. I wanted to show you some of the animations that this ship has when it takes off. Now you can already see some of the engines are twitching a little bit. One of the first things I notice about the ship when it's powered up is look at the engines. So that's the, your retro thrusters and they have a really neat little it's almost like one of those plasma balls that you when you touch they kind of shoot the little plasma stream at you. So that's pretty cool. And as I said, it's a little bit twitchy, but it still looks amazing. I'm sure they'll, that all this stuff will get fixed. So let me go ahead and take off and watch the pilot and the animation as it converts into flight mode. There we go. That is freaking awesome. Now I apologize, this is not a very scripted review here. I'm I'm kind of, this is my first time actually flying the ship. Um, other than just a, for a few minutes when I first signed in. So, forgive, forgive some pauses and uh, any mistakes I make. But wow. That is cool looking. And you can see the pilot is, in, has been rotated to look forward. Another problem I've seen, I, I'm seeing is, well, there's a lot of alignment issues, the HUD's missing, and uh, there's no sound effects for the engines. Now look at him, look at him moving his hand on the ball there as I increase the throttle, that's cool. Seems backwards from what I'd expect. But as you can hear, there are no sound effects. Let's see what it looks like from the outside when it's moving around. A little twitchy, a little weird. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe if they they've got the wrong animations on the on each of the wings there. It doesn't look like it's doing what it should do. Let me go into SCM here. That might help a little bit. It's more of those interesting effects on the Xion thrusters. Um, afterburner. Man, this thing is... Whoa! It's really drifty. Which is surprising, because this is supposed to be a very, very nimble ship. Let's see what's our top speed. 220. Let's see what we get with Afterburner. 325. And I'll have to take it into um, Crusader to tell you what the cruise speed is. 
So overall, the ship's a lot slower than I was expecting. And a lot less maneuverable. But this is a radical design, so I'm sure I'm sure they'll be working on fixing this. They'll probably have a hot patch out come Monday, I believe they said. Which should fix a lot of the issues. There's our weapons. Well, it seems like only one's firing. Let me check that. I may have destroyed one. Yeah, I think I probably destroyed one of the weapons when I hit that asteroid. So overall, I'm a bit disappointed here. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it into Vandal Swarm, because once I get in, it'll probably have that same bug where I'm looking down at my feet. Or where your feet are actually... You're, you've spawn in and you're not rotated properly in the cockpit. Alright, let's come to a complete stop. I'm going to go ahead and try to launch... Stop. Stop. I'm going to go ahead and try to launch Vandal Swarm and see what happens. Okay, we're just Vandal starting Vandal Swarm. Swarm. Initiated. It looks like... Looks like the ship isn't having Warning. as many issues. Maybe... Multiple inbound. At least we're facing the right direction. Now we've got two size 3 laser cannons. The... I believe they're the M... 6A laser cannons and those should be pretty powerful and again the maneuverability is really suffering at least I've got my HUD now as well so we'll see what we've got here it almost feels like I'm in decoupled mode alright right now I'm giving it full left strafe and it's still Still, still going. Come on. Forward. Forward. Uh. Come on. Okay, so far I'm very, very underwhelmed with the weapons. And the maneuverability. Oh. I don't think I'm going to even go past the first wave. Let me just finish, try to finish this first wave. And we'll see what we've got. Also notice my boost is not... What the heck happened to him? My boost is not recharging. Uh oh, here comes the border. Zero hostile contacts remaining. Let's check on the animations again. Warning. There are multiple hostiles in battle. Yeah. Come on. I think they're trying to do too much with the animations. I don't think they should be moving that much. Looks kind of silly. Alright, let's go back to the hangar. Well, or watch this. <laughs> let's go back to the hangar. Okay, so here we are back in the hangar. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of issues with the ship. Uh, so many issues, in fact, that I am not comfortable giving you even my first impressions of the vessel because it's, it's just not there. Maneuverability is bad. The speed is not what I expected. The weapons are underwhelming. And there's issues with the HUD, issues with the the animations. So what I'm going to do is just 
hold off. I'll, I'll go ahead and publish this video just so you can see what's going on. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next hot fix. Hopefully they'll have some fixes out for this and I'll give you my initial impressions once it's working a little better. And then once the patch goes live to the live servers, I'll give you my full review. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like or subscribe button. And until next time, this has been Buzzkiller, and I'll see you guys in the verse.